Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to a new video. Here we're going to deal with Radvan once again because apparently I can't answer a simple question and apparently I have an issue with lying when I can't deal with these questions. Let's jump straight to it. Let's go through that. What I said in my video is, yes, Farid responds, who said, we cannot understand what Muhammad means by the sun goes under the throne of Allah at night because it is a metaphysical matter. So what does Farid explain as metaphysical? The sun going somewhere at night. The sun goes under the throne of Allah at night. And what does Farid talk about in his response? The sun prostrating. That's a metaphysical matter. So what does he talk about? The prostration of the sun. The sun prostrating. That's a metaphysical matter. Did I talk about the prostration of the sun? No. I talked about Muhammad's words about the sun going under the throne of Allah. Fair enough. I misspoke. Um, the movement of the sun isn't a metaphysical matter. It has to do with our perception of the sun. Um, as for the prostration of the sun, that is indeed a metaphysical matter that we do not understand. According to these hadiths and according to the Quran, the sun has a rising place and a setting place. And the sun travels from its rising place to its setting place every day. Okay, so I'd like, to, I'd like you guys to focus on this. Uh, Ridvan here is pointing out that the sun has a rising place and a setting place, right? And he doesn't mention the rising place and setting place in the Quran. You know why? Because if we take it literally, it conflicts with the hadith. So where does the sun um, set according to chapter 18, according to Radvan? It literally sets in the muddy spring. As again, it's a video I dealt with previously. I have been planning on making a big video about this because this hadith is a very authentic hadith. And these reports, these hadiths clearly disprove Muhammad's knowledge of the world around us. So what does that mean? What does that mean to Ridvan? This hadith is a very authentic hadith. It's undeniable. What does that mean to Ridvan? What does that mean to me? Okay. This hadith is a hadith of Ibrahim bin Yazid bin Sharik Taymi from his father, Yazid bin Sharik Taymi from Abu Dhar from Rasulullah. One person from one person from one person from the Prophet, peace be upon him. I accept this as authentic. These are nar uh, these narrators are reliable. To Ridvan, this is hearsay that cannot be accepted. However, he will accept these reports. Why? Because he can use it against Islam. That's it. To him, to critics of Islam, anything that can be used against Islam is, is definitely authentic. Definitely, the Prophet definitely said this. However, anything that will show the Prophet, peace be upon him, in a positive light, okay, him being someone that was ascetic, something that shows his sincerity in his actions, something that shows, um, you know, a miracle or a proof for his prophethood or a prophecy that came to pass. No, 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 these have to be fabrications. These were fabricated by the compilers of hadith. It wouldn't matter if there were 20 people that narrated these hadiths from the Prophet, peace be upon him, they would dismiss these in a heartbeat. However, if they can use against Islam, this is undeniable. This cannot be rejected. This is proof against Islam. I want you guys to keep those double standards in mind. Alhamdulillah, Muslims that are objective will not do this. Muslims will accept reports that are in their favor and the reports that can be used against Islam. Let's carry on. So when Muhammad says that the sun goes somewhere under the throne of Allah or wherever it is to its setting place, how do we explain this? How does the sun go somewhere? Where does the sun go? Answer this question. Stop distracting. Second major issue, when exactly does the sun go wherever it goes? You can say that this is metaphysical, the throne is, up, is above everything, so the sun doesn't have to go somewhere, but why does it go somewhere according to Muhammad? And when exactly does it go? There is no time, there is no sunset, there is no night in the context of the sun. The sun is always there. There is no time that the sun actually goes somewhere and comes back. This hadith is clearly false. It clearly makes an absurd assertion that is demonstrably false, scientifically false, extremely ignorant, suitable to the 7th century Arabian knowledge of the cosmos. This is what you need to explain for it. Let me answer your questions. In regards to when the sun is setting, well, the answer to that question is... I simply do not think that it is relevant to the, to the point at hand. I mean... <laughs> as for the question of where is it setting, the answer to that question is... 
it it is it is something that do, uh, does not uh, that I do not think about that I do not concern myself with. That's what I'm trying to tell you. You see, Radvan, I don't need to engage with you if you're not going to engage with me. I put out my video two friggin' years ago, and you're responding to what now? You're responding to the whole thing? La la la! You're responding to like a five second clip. All right, you I res I refuted you. When it comes to the sun going into the mighty spring, I refute you in regards to that. I refute you in the usage of as if in the English translation. I refute you in regards to the usage of the term wajada in the hadith. I refute you in regards to the usage of the hadith of Abu Dhar from Nabi Dawood. You're ignoring all of that and you're focusing on a five second clip. And you're saying that I cherry pick, Farid don't cherry pick. I will not do what you do and cherry pick quotes from my videos and respond only to a little bit of stuff and say, I have refuted you. Who's the guy who's cherry picking here? Who's the person who's not dealing with the points that are brought forward? So no, I'm not going to engage with you. I'm not going to entertain your questions, even though I've already made a video on the subject and it's currently unlisted. What you need to do is you need to either respond to my video in full, which I'm pretty sure you won't because you are focusing on these five seconds instead of responding to the whole thing, or you need to accept the points that I've mentioned as valid and you need to accept that the sun didn't set in the murky spring. All right. And if you are mature enough to do that, in the same way that I'm mature enough to admit that I misspoke, if you're mature enough to do that, then I will be uploading my video, and I'll be making it public, and you can then deal with that argument at your own pace. All right, that's all I have for you guys today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Hey, puss. Fuck up. Don't call me a puss, okay?